Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial how to conjugate gehen, the German verb. Before we start, we just write down the English forms that we already know. As you see in English, it's quite easy. There are no endings at the verb. Only for he, she, it, you have the es in the ending. So it's always I go, you go, we go, they go, but he, she, it goes. Now in German language, it's more complicated. So first we note down the Personalpronomen, the personal pronouns. And in German we have I is ich, you is du, he is er, she, sie, it, es. You in plural is ihr, we is wir, and they is sie. Pay attention here, this is a source of an error. Z and Z is written the same, but here is singular and female. And here it's plural and it can be male or female or male and female. So this is just the meaning of plural if you point to a group. All right, and now we have gehen. And the nice thing is that ge stays the same. So we can always write ge. And then we have to put an ending, which corresponds to the personal pronoun. So, ich gehe, and then the ending is e. Ich gehe. Ich gehe. For du, we say, du gehst. Du gehst. Ich gehe, du gehst. And for those singular forms, it's always the same. Like here is goes, and here it's er geht, sie geht, es geht. And now for plural we have ihr geht. So you talk to a group, you point to them, they listen to you and you say ihr geht, can also be a question, ihr geht, do you go already, ihr geht schon, and you can also put this as a question, du gehst schon, do you go already, just to give you some Examples. All right, let's continue. Wir is plural and plural is wir gehen. In German, we have mostly for plural the en. I mean also for substantives. For example, the bottle. For this substantive, in English, we put an s to say those are a lot of bottles. In German, we don't say bottle, we say flasche. And the article is D. So you say D Flasche. And instead of an S if we talk about several, we put an N. Flaschen. Alright, that was just an extra information. So this is also plural. Wir gehen. And now plural for Z for a group. Z gehen. It's the same here. In all cases, this is the same conjugation. Wir and Z. Wir laufen, sie laufen. Wir sehen, sie sehen. Wir trinken, sie trinken. Alright, so you see, gehen is a so-called regular verb. In German, ein reguläres Verb. Here actually you have the word Regel inside. Regel is a German word. In English it's translated into rule. So this verb is regularly which means it follows the rules. So we have verbs with the ending en, and they always follow this conjugation. So if we take another verb, for example, to drink, which is trinken, trinken, we just go here and don't say ich gehe, now we say ich trinke. So we take this part without the en, and use it everywhere instead of geh, from gehen. So, ich trinke, du trinkst, er, sie, es trinkt, ihr trinkt, wir trinken, sie trinken. So, take your own word, like laufen, springen, singen, tanzen, and put it in this rule, put it into the slots here 
and put the ending there and then you can speak quite perfect German in present time. Because for the past tense, we have different forms. So this is just for present. For example, now I am drinking a beer, which translates to Ich trinke ein Bier. All right, that was a quick introduction into the regular verbs. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this style of teaching, subscribe and comment this video. Thank you very much and einen schönen Tag noch.